welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to go over the weld function in Cricut design space the in my previous video we went over the slice function so if you would like to watch that video it's gonna be linked down below but today we are going to go over weld okay so on the screen I have two um, two hearts and I'm, let me just make them a little bit bigger and I'm going to show you one way that you can use weld. So let's say that you wanted to combine both of these hearts as is. If you attach it, um, Cricut Design Space is going to cut it alongside here and then here as well. But if you weld it, it is going to combine everything. Okay, so right now Cricut Design Space will just cut it alongside and not slice it here as well. Okay, so if you are in the weld, while weld is final if you save your project. If you are still on the canvas, you can simply go to undo and you will be able to undo it. Okay. So that is one way that you can use the well function. So let me show you guys another way that you can use the well function. So I'm going to get a text and I'm going to write my name. Um, my business name. OK, so I'm going to change it to another font that is script. And one of the one of my favorite ones is the America font. Okay, so now I'm just going to make this bigger because I want you guys to see something. Okay, and let me change the color so it can be a little bit more clear. You can definitely see it here. And I'm going to send this back a little and make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so over here you'll see where you can see a line and also hear how this the letter goes into each other so what's gonna happen also over here what's gonna happen is if I don't weld it the machine is going to cut everywhere each letter touches so in other words there will be a cut here there'll be a cut here and another cut here and another cut there you do not want to do that and also when you are doing a script, like see how the D looks like it's not into the E. What I'm going to do is ungroup it and move this a little bit just so that it can look like it's in it. Right. Um, I actually like that better. And I can also do that with this right here. I actually like that better. And then now I'm going to select everything and watch what happens once I weld. Okay. Now it's weld. Now what happens is once you weld, you no longer see those lines and the machine is going to cut, you know, the letters correctly and there will not be no extra cut. Now let's say that you want to know what font this is because once you save it remember what I said once you save it it doesn't tell you the font you don't have any information on this whatsoever what you're going to do is go up to the well result here you're going to right click and then you're going to go to image info and you're going to see the selected font is America because a lot of times I've heard people say oh man I welded it now I do not know which font I use. This is how you will be able to see which font you use after you have weld and saved. Again, remember I said, as long as you have not saved this, you have not um, closed Cricut Design Space, you can simply go to undo and you can unweld and basically undo all the things that you just did. This is how it was to begin with. Okay, guys. So again, you will go to combine weld 
And let's say you wanted to find out which font this was because you forgot, you saved it. You go to image info and then the selected font will be whatever it is. In this case, it is font America. Okay. So guys, that is another way that you can use weld. Another way that you can use the weld um, function is to make a font thicker. And I'm going to show you guys right now. This is the, the thinnest font that I was able to find, which is called the steady font. And I think I uploaded this. I'm not sure where I got it because it's on my system and it's not a Cricut font. But anyway, so let's say that this is too small, like the lines, the, the, the thickness is too thin. And when you go to weed in it, you, it, it's not weeding correctly. So you want to make it a little thicker. So what you would do is create an offset and, um, you can make the offset as big or as little as you want. You can start it off like this. And then if you like that thickness, you can do that, or you can create another offset to make it a little bit bigger. And then you're going to simply select everything and then weld. Okay. See how much thicker that font is. So you can do that pretty much with any fonts that you want. Um, and then it's just gonna, you know, make it look thicker and easier to weed. Okay, guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Again, let me just go briefly over how you can use weld. You can make your font thicker. You can take two um, shapes and combine them together and then weld it to make, um, ooh, to cut it together. So let's say let's do a circle and this. Let me undo that. Okay. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's say we wanted to weld it like this. We'll select it and then we'll weld. And this is another way. And the final way that I showed you guys is simply taking the text and going to show you guys what happens if you don't weld it. As you can see here, well, this one is not a great, let me just change it again, back to the America font and you will see exactly let me move this out the way and let's change the color one more time. Oh, I changed the color the wrong one change the color one more time as you can see right here these lines would cut and that's not what you want so you will go ahead and weld and then they're gone so it would not cut those little lines okay guys so let me know down in the comments if you have used the weld function in Cricut Design Space also let me know if you have any questions about this and yeah, with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a video. Also, in my next videos, I'm going to be going over some of the other features down here. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.